G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel, I'm Josh. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. That's this guy right here. So let's have a look at some examples. So for our first example, we have the equation 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. And we're going to solve that using the quadratic formula here. So our first step is we're going to go through and work out what values we'll be putting into the formula. We have the values for A, B, and C. And we work these out off our equation here. The value in front of x squared here, that is the value of a. So a is equal to 2. The value in front of x is the value of b. And that's that whole bit here. So b is equal to negative 3. Finally, we have the value of c. c is this value here, which is 1. So now what we do is we go through and we put these into the quadratic formula. So let's do that. So we have x is equal to... First off, we have negative b, so we have negative, negative 3. This is plus and minus the square root of b squared. So we'll just put that in for the minute as negative 3 squared minus 4ac. So 4 times 2 times 1. And all of this goes over 2a. So we'll put this all over 2 times 2. Now let's simplify this a little bit. So first off, we have negative, negative 3 that's equal to 3. This is plus or minus the square root. Now, first off, we have negative 3 squared. So negative 3 times negative 3 is equal to 9. And from this, we're going to subtract 4 times 2 times 1. 4 times 2 is 8, times 1 is also 8. So we have this, and this all goes over 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. Now, let's simplify this a little bit further. We have 3 plus or minus. Now, 9 take away 8, this gives us the square root of 1, and all of this goes over 4. So, the square root of 1, that's the next bit we're going to work out. It leaves us with the following 3 plus or minus the square root of 1, which is equal to 1, and all of this goes over 4. Now, we can solve this pretty easy. This gives us the values for x. Now, first off, we have x could equal 3 plus 1 over 4. So, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 over 4, or x could be equal to 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2, also over 4. Now we can simply put our answers in here. 4 divided by 4, we have the value of x equaling 1, or x equaling 1 half, or 0 0.5. And that's how you go through and use the quadratic formula. What about we do a couple of other examples? Okay, to our next example, we have 3x squared minus 10x, minus 8 is equal to 0, and we're going to be using the quadratic formula once again to solve this. So what I recommend is, what about you pause the video and give this a go, and then come back and see how you went. Have you done that? Well, all right, so let's have a look. The first thing we do is we work out the values for A, B, and C. And be very careful when you do this, because you don't want to get the wrong values and do a lot of work for no reason whatsoever. So first off, we have the value of A in front of X squared here. That is 3. Then we have the value of b. Now we don't just take the 10, we take the entire negative 10. So like I said, be a bit careful of that one. Now we have the value of c, and we take that entire part there. c is equal to negative 8. So let's go through and put this all into the quadratic formula now. So we have x is equal to negative b. So negative, negative 10, and this is plus or minus the square root of b squared. So b squared is going to be negative 10 squared minus 4ac. So 4 times 3 times negative 8. And all of this goes over 2a. So all of this goes over 2 times 3. So let's just clean this up a little bit. So first off, we have negative negative 10. So that's equal to 10. And this is plus or minus the square root of negative 10 squared. So negative 10 times negative 10 is 100. And from this, we're going to subtract 4 times 3, which is 12 times minus 8, which is negative 96. So minus 96, negative 96. And all of this goes over 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. All right, so what do we end up with? We have 10 plus or minus the square root. Now 100 minus minus 96. These two minuses together make a positive. So we end up with 100 plus 96. So this is 196 over 6. All right, so now what we have is as follows. We have 10 plus or minus the square root of 
196. So the square root of 196 is 14. And this goes over 6. Now we can easily go through and work out our values for x. x is going to be equal either to 10 plus 14. 10 plus 14 is 24 over 6. Or x is going to be equal to 10 minus 14. 10 minus 14 is negative 4 also over 6. So we can simplify this a little bit further. So 24 divided by 6, this is equal to 4. Or we have negative 4 over 6, which simplifies down to negative 2 over 3. And there you have it. We have two answers for our equation here. So what about we go through and do one more of these? So for our next question, we're going to be working out the solution for x squared minus 8x plus 5 over 0, once again using that quadratic formula. So we'll go through and work out the values for a, b, and c to start off with. Once again, I encourage you, pause the video and give this one a go, or don't, you know, it's up to you. So first off, we have a here, which is in front of the x squared here. So there's nothing in front of the x squared, we assume that a is equal to 1. In front of x here, we have negative 8. So the value for b is negative 8, and we have c equaling 5. So now we'd go through and put these into the quadratic formula. x is equal to negative b. So negative b, negative, negative 8, plus or minus the square root of b squared. So that's going to be negative 8 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 5, and all of that goes over the top of 2 times a, 2 times 1. So this equals, in turn, negative negative 8. That's going to be equal to 8 plus or minus the square root of negative 8 squared. So negative 8 times negative 8 is 64, minus, we have 4 times 1, which is 4, times 5, which is 20, and all of that goes over 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. So now let's see what we have. We have this all equals 8 plus or minus the square root of 64 minus 20. 64 minus 20 is equal to 44, and this all goes over 2. Now what we're left with is a value that doesn't square root very nicely. So what we're going to do is just simplify the radical here and go from there. So what does this simplify to? We have 8 plus or minus... Now, the square root of 44, this simplifies to 2 root 11 over 2. Now, this whole lot's going to go over 2, which in turn can be divided by 2 to give us our answer. So, 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. This is plus or minus, and we have 2 times the square root of 11. So, we divide that by 2, we end up with the square root of 11. So, that's our answer for x. x is going to equal 4 plus or minus the square root of 11. So now you can go through and work out what this is with a calculator, but I'll tell you what, most teachers are gonna be pretty happy if you leave it in this form right here. So that is how you solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the Tech Math channel for math tricks, math lessons, etc., etc. A big shout out to my patrons, thank you very much. And to all you subscribers, Thank you also. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.